Alama e Kavai, protect our water. It's not a phrase that we at the Department of Transportation Highways Division take lightly. Daily, thousands of state workers and contractors are working to keep our ocean and rivers clean and safe to surf, swim, fish, and play in. We can't do it all, but we're always trying our best. Hawaii's highways move over a million people every day. In order to get people to their destination safely, we also move water from rainstorms off our roads. Here's one example. Let's look at this heavily used underpass. During a rainstorm, water should just collect at this low point. But did you know that we pump and clean the water that collects here? It's just one example of the many things we do behind the scenes to keep the water clean. We first try to reduce pollution at its source, and then work to remove it if it gets on our highways. We look to our keiki, who will grow up to live in one of two realities, a Hawaii with clean water, or one with dirty oceans and rivers. You can see our team in your local school or at an event in your neighborhood promoting the clean stormwater message. Children now know more about our local water cycle than we did when we were growing up. We look at businesses along our highway to ensure that their operations are clean and not contributing dirt, trash, or other chemicals onto our roads. Because once that pollution is on our roads, it gets carried by runoff into our storm drains and eventually into the ocean. We also look to our own operations. Our maintenance program looks at how we can maintain clean, non-polluting operations when we're out there keeping our roads safe and operational. We stabilize slopes to prevent sediment from going down our drains and covering the reefs. Slopes that have gone without vegetation for years have been repaired not only for your safety, but for our waters. We work with the construction industry to ensure that they aren't contributing extra dirt or waste building materials onto our roadways. After all, excavation for development is one of the biggest contributors to sediment in stormwater. We provide training statewide and have our projects inspected by an independent third party. We also help to maintain rain gauges that alert construction sites when a big rain is coming so that they can better prepare their site. We manage the Adopt a Highway program and appreciate the organizations that are keeping trash off of the roads and out of our water. We sweep our highways not only to beautify our islands, but also to remove pollutants before they can reach our storm drains. In fact, it's one of our most effective tools. We also go beneath our streets to clean out our extensive drainage system. We find lots of cigarette butts, plastic bottles, cans, styrofoam, and plastic bags which you can help limit by placing them in the proper bin. We take tips from residents and our own inspectors to investigate illegal dumping or discharges along our highways. After all, what enters our roads enters our oceans. Would you want to swim in it? We are adding features to our drainage network to further remove trash, sediment, and nutrients in the water we discharge. These structural best management practices will reduce the amount of pollution that goes into our oceans. We monitor the stormwater that enters our storm drains and we're working on finding the sources of this pollution. We also look at the places where our water is discharging to detect illegal pollution through our extensive drainage network. Various programs utilize our online asset management system to track our drainage network and the work we are doing in it. As you can see, it's a big task to keep our rivers and oceans clean. Everyone has some responsibility in preventing pollution to our ocean as they use our highways. But beyond that, we're on the job to do more than that protect our water in creative new